In turn, well-anchored inflation expectations enhance our ability to meet both our employment and inflation objectives, particularly in the new normal in which interest rates are closer to their effective lower bound, even in good times. Hence, as we say in our statement, with inflation running persistently below 2 percent, we will aim to achieve inflation moderately above 2 percent for some time, so that inflation averages 2 percent over time and longer-term inflation expectations remain well anchored at 2 percent. We expect to maintain an accommodative stance of monetary policy until these outcomes, including maximum employment, are achieved. With regard to interest rates, we now indicate that we expect it will be appropriate to maintain the current 0 to 1 quarter percent target range for the federal funds rate until labor market conditions have reached levels, levels consistent with the committee's assessments of maximum employment and inflation has risen to 2 percent and is on track to moderately exceed 2 percent for some time. In addition, <clears throat> over coming months, we will continue to increase our holdings of Treasury securities and agency mortgage-backed securities, at least at the current pace. These asset purchases are intended to sustain smooth market functioning and help foster accommodative financial conditions, thereby supporting the flow of credit to households and businesses. We believe the strong policy guidance we are providing today will serve the economy well by promoting our goals through the many possible paths the recovery may take. Of course, as we note in our policy statement, we would be prepared to adjust the stance of monetary policy as appropriate if risks emerge that could impede the attainment of our goals.